hello guys welcome back to Kobe's kitchen today I'm going to be showing you how to make this nice soft on the outside and very juicy on the on the inside cutlassy this is cutlassy so this is what I'm going to show you how to make for today's video stay tuned to the end subscribe if you haven't so you'll boil your potatoes and in your potatoes you put in some salt to taste and for flavor I'll be using four cloves of garlic so you boil these potatoes until they are ready to mash until they are ready to mash completely and then we proceed to the next process So after it has rendered its water, we are now going to add some dania stalks, onions and four cloves of garlic. We stir this and let it simmer for another minute before we add in some oil and spices. So you let the onions work out its flavor and then we'll be back to add our spices. So for the spices I'm going to be using thyme, thyme, dried one. So a half teaspoon or and then ginger powder half a teaspoon ah i mean a teaspoon the other spice i'm going to use is this royco spice the curry and spice a tablespoon of it and nyamachoma spice a tablespoon as well so our spices zimeshika vizuri kwa nyama so we are going to add in enough oil to to fry the meat and that's enough and we give it just a minute and uh, we are done. I didn't taste for the what? I didn't taste for for the salt. So I'm going to be tasting now if everything is nice. The salt and the spices as well. So I'll give a, a taste and it's perfect. It's moist and salty. Meshika vizuri piyam. So one minute is done so we are just going to pour our moto and we wait it to cool as we wait for our potatoes to eva and then we mash them and then continue into our next process. So for our potatoes they are fully done so we are going to drain this and then mash them completely make sure as you mash them there will be no lumps so i'm testing with a fork and as you can see they are fully fully done so i'll mash this let me drain it mash it and put in some coriander madania leaves to make it a bit uh, beautiful so the potatoes are already Done. we are going to be mashing them mash make sure you mash them while hot so that it is easily mashable so i'm adding some dania for aesthetic and i'm going to mash them like the baby girl i am with this masher so it will i'll try to mute them. So it's nicely mashed with no lumps. So the mixer helps you to mash 
the potatoes with ease so i'm going to let this cool down a little bit because you're going to work it on with your hands so until you can be able to make balls with your hands comfortably with the hotness so wait for it to cool down for maybe five to eight minutes and then when we cool down uh, we make our cutlessy nicely so to make our cutlets we already have our our cool mashed potatoes and our cool minced meat so you will use clean hands my hands are clean this is some mashed potatoes over them ah i mean minced meat so i'll use my clean fingers to form the cutlets and cutlets to cutlets 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 so it depends on how generous you want your your cutlassy to be or how big that is so with your clean fingers you take a piece of mashed potatoes and form like a cowell not very big but uh, some form of a hole here and then uh, that hole will take your minced meat there inside so i think the 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 the, the whatever the the mashed potatoes should be big enough to be able to to fold it in nicely so this this one was small kidogo so i'll, I'll take the other one equally bigger so make sure you have formed a, a ball so inside is the minced meat and then you form a actually it's it's still okay you form a, a ball like that so whenever you, you if you don't mash your potatoes well then it uh, you'll have your your cutlassy breaking apart so make sure you you mash it nicely until they are soft so i'll take another one this one inside it's too hot so i'll try i'll try to work on this one it's hot on the inside page so again form a, a well here sort of a well here this is where you place in your mashed ah your minced meat so it's burning me so make sure your 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 mashed potatoes are cool 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 so to ensure that you don't suffer from burns so again i stuff in my minced meat and then fold it up here Missouri. <laughs> seal it make sure you seal every form of opening to it so i seal on this other part yeah nice nicely done so I'll do this to all my mashed potatoes and then we'll be back for the next process. Make sure that you don't have any holes in your in your cutlets. Make sure you seal them. Vizuri. So let me do this to all my mashed potatoes and then I'll be back to for the next process. So I've already made our whatever cutlets and now uh, i'm going to dip them in the eggs these are two eggs i've just put some salt in it and this is all purpose flour so the next step is easy we'll just put them so we'll take one of them coat them with the egg mixture And then with the other hand coat them with the flour mixture shake off the excess and then uh, fry it on uh, or deep fry it so we this is what we do to all our cutlasses and you make sure you shake off the excess flour and then now we head 
over to the fry until they are nice and golden brown. So our oil is hot. I'm just going to dip them nicely. Make sure you don't crowd uh, the pan to ensure that uh, the chaliba is very evenly. So we let them uh, fry for a minute and then turn them over until they are golden brown. After a minute, turn them over to the next, ah, the other side to ensure that the naiva is ready. And allow them to cook until they are nicely golden brown. You can have them, uh, you can decide to do a double coating. Ensure the mekotika vizuri zaidi. So you let them give up until they are golden brown. I will show you the outcome. So I am done and this is how they look. Uh, they are crispy on the outside and very soft on the inside. So try out this recipe. See you on the next one. Bye bye.